All right, what's up guys? Daniel here again, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install the rod buckle kit with the conversion kit that makes it concealed. So as a lot of you guys have probably seen, you've seen the rod buckle you know, in the past, but it's really big, bulky. You have to cut a giant hole in your boat. And today I'm gonna to show you how to use the rod buckle conversion kit to drill a much smaller hole in your boat and uh, it'll allow you to store your rods and just uh, secure them a lot better on your deck than what you're probably doing right now. So stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you need to install this, uh, how to do it uh, very in depth. I know a few people actually have videos out there on this, but not necessarily on the concealment kit. And the few that are out there aren't as detailed as you know I wanted when I was trying to watch it to learn how to do it. And I've already installed it on one side of my boat, so I've worked out the kinks. So follow along, we'll do it on the other side of the boat. And hopefully by the end of this video, you guys will be pros, you'll be able to do it on your own and have no issues. So as always, if this helps you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and let's get into it. These are the materials you will need for this project. Not a very extensive list, but you will need a drill with a drill bit attachment, also having access to bigger, drill bits that will allow you to drill holes into your boat. You're going to need the standard rod buckle kit. You're going to need the conversion kit. And uh, those are the only two pieces you're going to have to buy. The rest are just tools to help you install it. I will have both these linked down in the description and uh, they're really not expensive. And as you can see, they're pretty awesome. <laughs> so additionally, you're going to need some scotch tape and a file a Sharpie, a measuring tape if you want to be that precise. And right off the top of my head, that's all that I think you will need. You might need a pair of scissors or something like that, but I will update and throw the items that you might also need onto the page. You're probably reading them right now. So, so here's the bow buckle kit. We'll dive into it real quick. Be careful, the, the screws are just in a loose pocket in the front of it, so you don't want to open it and have those fly everywhere all right and here is the little conversion kit that will allow it to be much much smaller and once we dive into this you will see you have this piece another small piece a bunch of small pieces actually and then you should have, yeah, that's right. It only comes with two screws. And the screws are just about the same. I think they are, they're the exact same as the other screws that come in the original boat buckle kit. So you can throw all the screws together. You don't have to worry about mixing them up. And when you open that kit up, be very careful that you don't tear open or tear apart this paper. Because as you can see right down here, this is the template that we're gonna use, put on the boat, and then we have to drill out this white part in the middle and then drill pilot holes on the two sides on either part of it. And then it comes with very basic directions telling you what to do. All right, so the way the conversion kit works is it actually hides this entire piece behind your gunnel. And what the, the conversion little conversion kit that comes with the boat buckle kit has is it has this long piece right here and you're actually going to end up screwing that onto this and then this piece will be on the outside of your gunnel like this and then if you imagine there's going to be an imaginary piece of your gunnel right here and so your gunnel is going to be sandwiched between everything and uh, we'll end up taking this piece off and running this uh, strap through here but at the end of the day, it's gonna look exactly like this, except you're not gonna be able to see any of this. And this piece will be drilled into your gunnel. To make that a little bit more clear, you can see right here, we've got that small piece in the side of my gunnel. That's that piece. And we're just gonna cut out a little hole so this mounts flush. And then the screws will go through these two holes and connect into these two holes once we drill this onto that. Now we're gonna cut the template out. All 
All right, so there you got your template. I apologize for the lighting, but that is the cutout and I have taped it against the gunnel with the clear tape. And that way you can drill into it where you need to and it's not gonna be moving all around. Now, it doesn't really matter where you put it. I prefer to stick it as close to the carpet as possible and it's not all the way up in your gunnel. And then I also measured across and did it directly across from where my other one is. So hopefully it'll be symmetrical. Next thing you wanna do, wanna do is drill out the pilot holes on either side. And to do that, you're gonna wanna use a 1 8 inch drill bit. So next, I'm going to be using a very big drill bit to dr start drilling out multiple holes out of this. And then we can use a file to clean it up and make it look real nice. But right before I do that, I'm going to use a smaller drill bit to make a pilot hole. And then I'll be using this big one. Uh, this drill bit is an 11, or actually it's a 21 64th size drill bit. But... Any drill bit that you think will take out the most of this white section here and then not go outside um, will work. I mean, it doesn't need to be this size, as you'll see. All right, so now I know you're looking at this and you're going, well, that looks really ugly. But the key is we got this edge and this edge where they need to be. Now we're going to take the file and really clean it up and make it look real nice. And then we'll be able to insert that piece in and it should fit perfectly. And it fits in like a glove. Look at that, perfect. And then you can't see any of that. Any of the holes we just did and our pilot holes line up perfectly. And take your boat buckle assembly and then you're gonna take this piece from the concealment kit. And as you can see, one of the screw holes on either side lines up with these two. And you're gonna take the screws two screws and from the back drill the screws through this into that little piece. So the next step is going to be actually taking off this plastic piece right here and putting on this piece because this is going to be too thick to fish through our hole. We're going to need to slide this one on and then once we fish it through the hole we'll reattach this plastic piece. Alright so now we need to reach up underneath the boat. I'm going to reach through this compartment and then hold this on the back so this will be in the gunnel and then feed this through that gap and then once that's through we'll switch it back to the original one which is too fat to slide through again and then we'll install the final two screws
fed the boat buckle through the other side and now I pulled this strap through and we just need to feed on this small piece right here and then we'll switch out this piece so it'll hold through and it won't fall through this gap. screw is in on this side and I lined up the rod buckle system on the back of this so it went into the matching hole and I'll show a little screenshot on the screen right now for you guys so you understand because I forgot to show you before I put it back there but now I just need to put the second screw in hopefully line it up correctly and then all we need to do is put in the final docking station for it to come and strap across and we'll be done what I did is I measured 18 inches away and 18 inches to right about the center of this hole right right there. And uh, that's good enough for me. It doesn't need to be perfect, but 18 inches is far enough out that you can fit a lot of rods and it still leaves you some slack. So if you wanted to stack them up or something like that, you could. And uh, one thing to note is you want to have this small indention towards the rod buckle because the bigger hole is where you stick the uh, slot down in and then it slides forward and locks into that smaller section. All right guys, so I ended up breaking this screw off and having to replace it with a different one, but luckily I was able to find another screw that kind of matched the pattern so it doesn't stand out as much. But this is the final product, as you can see. Works great, locks in, and uh, you still got plenty of room for rods. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Looks a ton better now. You're really gonna enjoy that extra rod storage right there and not having to worry about bungee cords or whatever flying off your boat. Thanks for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I will be posting a lot more videos like this and I'm constantly working on my boat because things are constantly breaking because that's part of owning a old boat. So stay tuned to the channel. Keep a lookout for new videos, and until next time, I'll see you later, guys.